Good morning, traders. So how do we trade the DAX using the Bill Williams theory? So a couple of things on the daily. And the first thing is we have this trend line here. Okay, which hasn't been tagged just yet. But if I move my trend ever so slightly like that. So I'm taking all these tails into account. We pretty much have come off it. So um, one argument that I have is that we have rallied up to test the break of the alligator. So you can see how here was the consolidation. We broke through the alligator. We've come back and we're now testing the breakout of the alligator. Okay. Um, we do have um, oversold conditions at the moment on the daily. And we've also got a little bit of a, a rollover looking to happen on the awesome oscillator here. So a jury is out. I would expect us to pull back and come and test this bottom level. Okay. I would expect us to come back, either test this level or create a, a higher low before an attempt to come to the upside. Okay. So that's kind of the way that I'm looking at this on the daily. And I'd also be inclined to believe that you know the trend currently is down so you need to be trading to the downside okay so let's have a look at the 30 minutes and that's the one that we're really interested in. sorry i want to start with a four hour so this level where we bounced off here okay is pretty much and i pointed this out yesterday is a fairly significant level because you can see all the interaction over the last year at this level okay so this is a fairly significant level and this level here is 12427 and you can see how we've got a downward trend line and we've got a horizontal uh, resistance line and we bounced off it once twice so this to me is starting to look like a double top obviously a break below this fractal here will indicate a double top and that fractal is sitting at one um, one two through one two triple three oh sorry one two double three zero okay so a break below that is going to bring this gap into play and uh, let's just double check that so the measured move is pretty much going to be that over there there we go bingo Okay, so this is kind of um, the look that I'm looking, this is the play that I'm looking at at the moment, and you can see we're rolling. We've got uh, quite a bit happening here on the awesome oscillator, and we've also got a grouping of the um, stochastics. Okay, so often when the stochastic cross, that's my slow moving stochastic, this is my fast, sorry, that's my fast moving, and that's my slow moving stochastics. And uh, when they both cross over far apart like this, that's always an indication that we have a fairly uh, strong move coming. You can see here how they crossed apart and how we had a pretty strong rally to the upside. Okay, so this is starting to, to look like some additional downside. Okie dokie. So remember these two lines are the double top. And let's just have a look at what is going on inside here. So a couple of things. First thing is we had a couple of diagonals and as you know me I'm not a real fan of diagonal trend lines but I do pay a little bit of attention to them so this is the current uptrend over the last two days okay very gentle uptrend but ultimately price is moving higher so was this a break was this the original down um, triangle consolidation pattern and then we broke okay um, or alternatively is this the one okay now i am going to assume that this is the trend line purely because of what is going on with the alligator so the alligator is flat in other words it's sleeping and uh, there is no direction so when the alligator is flat we're in a range uh, or we're consolidating which is exactly what's happening you can see how the consolidation move up was violent it was violent the downside and then slowly went back the upside, down, etc. Okay, so I'm kind of um, leaning towards a, a bearish sentiment, and uh, 
I'm not overly confident that we're going to fall, and I'm not overly confident that we're going to rise either. So we could actually just range in this zone for another day or two. Very possible. So for me, anyway, I'm going to wait to see what happens here. If we get a break of 12-minute um, fractional levels on the Dow, that would be a reasonably good signal to get in on the trade. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take off that and take off that. Right, so let's just um, highlight what these fractional levels are. I'm going to use these lines here. So that is our first fractional level. And that is our second fractal level. So you can see there's a fractal and there's a fractal. Now, what I'm looking for is a 12-minute close above that fractal to indicate upside or below this fractal to indicate downside. If we do have a upside break, I'll be you now I'll be very impressed if we get through this uh, one two four twenty area with uh, without much fanfare. So. That's kind of what I would expect. Um, I'm more inclined to believe that we're going to get a move to the downside. Okay, and we have dropped below the alligator at the moment, but um, there's nothing in the alligator saying that we are going down or up. It's still running flat. So I either want to see it pointing up like this or pointing down, okay, like that. But right now, we're kind of sitting with this kind of scenario. You can see how it's flat, and we are slightly below it. So the question is, are we going to have this kind of sell-off, which would be nice. Okay, so that's kind of my view on this at the moment. And then obviously, uh, this trend line here is going to hold up price somewhere along the line. And you can see how it also lines up with the 200 moving average on the 30. Okay, so I think for me, we'll be um, watching where we are where price is in relation to the alligator. If we are below and we do break this fractal, then that is a valid signal to get uh, get short because this fractal is sitting below the, the, the red line, the teeth. If we break above this fractal and we move to the upside, it's a valid signal because we are sitting above the red line being the teeth. Obviously, I want the confirmation of the crossover of all these um, average, moving averages of the alligator to the upside to get that um, or we stay as we are now, we're gently pointing to the downside and we accelerate down. Okay, so that's kind of my view on, on the DAX is uh, we're in the consolidation pattern here, potential double top, and uh, the ultimate test of that double top is going to be a proper break of 1, 2, double, 3, 0. Okay, we get that, then we have confidence that we will move down to 1, 2, 2, 30. Okay, guys, so that's my take on the DAX today. Um, I hope it helps. And I think um, watch this very carefully because there's a lot of geopolitical noise happening at the moment. And uh, we've got uh, trade tariffs that kick in on China today. Uh, China's just uh, stopped importing coal, which they used to buy from the States. So there's a lot of happening and there's a lot of political noise with uh, Trump fighting for his life at the moment with um, everybody being found guilty around him. So anyway, um, that's my play anyway for the day. I um, hope it helps, and uh, stay safe. I'll catch up with you guys later. Cheers.